Wednesday marks the grim one year anniversary of when 19 children and two adults were killed at Robb Elementary in Uvalde, Texas. Jay Gray is in Uvalde with how the community is coping one year later. Well, tomorrow will mark a year since this town suffered such an overwhelming tragedy. 19 children, two school teachers killed at Robb Elementary here in Uvalde by an 18 year old gunman armed with a semi automatic rifle bursting into that school and opening fire. In the year that's transpired, there's obviously still a lot of pain. In fact, you can see the crosses, the stuffed animals, the flowers here behind us. This all started as a makeshift memorial after the attack and has now grown into what is a permanent marker where a year later, people still gather in this community to remember those lost. But there's also a growing frustration and anger here. So many of the families of the victims pushing for changes to gun laws in Texas, pushing for an end to the ongoing investigation after 12 months into what happened here, and hoping at some point, as city leaders have talked about, Rob Elementary, where the shooting took place, will be torn down. But none of that has happened. And so there is a, a lot of anger about things not moving forward here like so many had thought they would. One thing you hear from those family members, though, many who drove every week to the Texas legislature lobbying for changes to gun laws, is that they're not going to give up this fight, that they will continue hoping to make sure that their loved ones didn't die in vain. There are no real public remembrances scheduled for tomorrow, the day a year later after the attack. Family members of the victims, though, do plan to gather privately and spend some time with each other, the only ones who can really know the true pain of everything that was lost here. That's the latest from Uvalde. I'm Jay Gray. Now back to you.